Hello, hello and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for another walk around video. This here is a race red Ford EcoSport Titanium featuring the 1 litre EcoBoost engine that's going to be delivering 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then going to be transmitted through a 6 speed manual gearbox. The vehicle itself is on just over 2000 miles, we are registered on a 70 registration so we can have Ford warranty with us until November 2023. I'm in love with the race red colour, I like it on any Ford vehicle and in the sunshine it looks amazing. This titanium is full with lovely specifications so without further ado let me talk about it. We're going to get some shadows today, hello, uh, but it's late January, low sun all the time. So that bit that appears to be flickering there is a daytime running light. It's flickering simply because the frequency in which the video is recorded at. Let me assure you, in real life they look wonderful. Got some really good quality headlights there as well front fog lights got some nice chrome in the front grille there if you were just to look up to the roof quickly in there there's a sensor for rain sensing wipers that's a wiper motion and that's also going to be for your automated lights in addition we have some silver painted roof rails so if you're in the uh, market for a roof box they're good to go let's uh, go down a bit now 17 inch 10 spoke silver alloy wheels and they are complemented beautifully with the silver brake calipers just behind them as well and those of you with the keen eyes will notice they are pirelli tires again 2000 miles old so you've got tons of happy motoring left on those before you even have to think about replacing them one of my favorite points in the EcoSport, got some nice large wing mirrors. So visibility of these vehicle is lovely. The belt line is nice and low. You've got great visibility all the way around and you can see what you're doing. So we're gonna cruise around the off side of the vehicle. This side is the shady side, but I shall try and get some lovely reflections for everybody whilst we're here. So effectively, they are kind of built around the Ford Fiesta, uh, but I'd like to describe them the same size of Fiesta, but on stilts. If you were looking for a slightly higher up vehicle, but don't want it to be too big and too cumbersome, these EcoSports are perfect. And the demand for these EcoSports has been incredible in the last few months. So here we do have another lovely one to give you. So giving you a bit of the bodywork on there, trying to get some nice reflective angles. And we're going to end up at the offside rear wheel. As you can see, absolutely immaculate. So we're going to cruise around now the rear bumper and we can see rear parking sensors and a rear vision camera and there's obviously me in the chrome once more. So we're going to give the near side the exact same treatment and we're going to start nice and high and work our way down the vehicle until we get to the near side rear wheel. Yeah, I love the, I love the colour scheme between the race red and the silver wheels. As you see, look at them sparkle in the sunlight. Some really lovely wheels on this Eco Sport. Okay, moving away down to the near side front of the vehicle now. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of that alloy as well. Okay. So now let's have a look inside the boot. So one of the unique, unique points for these Eco Sports is the horizontally, if that's the way to describe it, horizontally opening rear tailgate. So as you can see, it doesn't open vertically, it opens horizontally. You get the gist. So this boasts a lovely deep filling, high volume rear boot. You have a adjustable boot there, so you can clip it in to uh, different heights to give you increased volume underneath. Put that away into a lower position it's seemingly quite difficult with one hand as you can see and it gives you increased volume at the top that's going to be quite hard to show you but underneath that little tray there is a tire compressor and sealant kit so you're always going to be going in the right direction okay let's close that up now and come round to the rear of the vehicle ideal family cars for every situation got a lovely amount of leg room in the back there as well you've got an iso fixing point on the near side rear seat and on the offside rear seat being the titanium we shall have some lovely half leather half cloth interior it's all defined by some gorgeous gray silvery stitching all the way around in the back here we do have a 12 volt socket to keep yourself nice and charged up on those longer journeys but let me just give you another little view of the seats again iso fixing point there and there so you've got the little metal bar in the little crevice there and you can clip the, the baby seats in them 
keeping them nice and secure. I often get asked, has he got mats in it already? Okay, mind my little muddy footprints. I've just made taking photographs of the vehicle. I'm gonna valet us to hoover that up in a minute. But yeah, so you've got some mats included already, so it's all good to go. Let's shut that up now and let's jump inside and see what we've got going on inside the vehicle. Okay, so interior locking is found just to the left-hand side of the door handle. We have mirror controls and four electric windows all the way around. Pan around now and show the driver's seat. Again, a half leather, half cloth interior defined by some lovely silver stitching. A manually adjustable seat here, but we do have lumbar support. We have a height adjustment, a rear tilt, and a forward and backwards. Very comfortable seating as well. Okay, so bear with me a second. We have a key to go into the ignition barrel. Always helps if you're looking at what you're doing instead of the camera. So we're just going to turn the engine on now, give us a bit of power, and we can talk about the rest of it. Okay, so we're going to put a drop of fuel in it. And yes, it is very cold outside. So this is, oh, if I can try and get the sun to go away. There we are. This is the driver display now. It's a very conventional RPM gauge to the left-hand side. We have a speedo to the right-hand side. In the bottom cluster, we have a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge. As you can see, in the middle, we have a digital driver display. We can control that digital driver display using the arrows on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. So if I was to now zoom in slightly, uh, we can see the first stage, which is for your cruise control. So this is where the cruise control shall be uh, viewed on that screen. If I was to click into the menu there, we can go and see all the driver assistance this vehicle has to offer. So you've got a pre-collision assist, traffic sign recognition, hill start assist, we've got a speed limiter, very important in towns and cities, so limit your speed to say 30 miles per hour and you won't exceed that. A rear park pilot, this is an interesting one, rear park pilot, that's all to do with the rear parking sensors and cameras. So if you're backing out onto a busy main road, and the car's going to alert you for any un oncoming traffic uh, before you've even realised. It's a really nice bit of spec there as well. So we're going to come out of that and we'll show you what else this has to offer. We've got a little navigation bit there. So again, that will link up with your sync module and you have the directions displayed just here. Go down once more, radio, media, have one for your phone connectivity. Car settings are in there and we do have uh, a trip computer there as well. My view is a very customizable bit of software so you can have a digital speedo, fuel economy, trip computer, calm screen so you can customize it however you feel fit. Okay so let's just get rid of the zoom and pan out slightly. So again that was all controlled using the arrows. Incredibly sunny. I do apologize this trumpet. Okay there we are. Well I don't know. Apologize about the sunshine but again we have the order controls for the digital drive display. On the left-hand side, on the right-hand side is all of your media controls. So you've got a, a volume up and down, pick up and decline phone call, and a volume up and down also. I mentioned uh, cruise control. We have cruise control on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. So it's a conventional cruise control system, exactly the same as my Ford Focus. Take it off standby, set your speed, cancel it, resume it, set your limiter accordingly. Nice and easy to come to terms with. And the cruise control on longer journeys is going to be saving you a lot in fuel. Okay, let's have a quick discussion about this Sync 3.4 module. Again, I apologize, it's incredibly sunny. So I'm just trying to get that into focus for you. Seeming to be quite difficult, but if I hold it there, we might have some joy. Okay, so we've got the dark blue band at the bottom, so we know it is the Sync 3.4 software. It's devised nicely into audio, phone, navigation, mobile apps, and settings. For example, as we go into navigation, nice and quick and responsive, click on the search bar and it's going to come up with the keypad. For example, you want a program to come to see this vehicle at Perkins, Charlie, Mike, 776 Sierra Alpha. Click search and before you know it, it will plan your route here to Perkins. So again, if you did start the navigation, you can have the navigation directions come up on the little screen in front of you there. So we're going to not start that route, we're going to come out of there, come to the home screen. We have audio down there as well, audio that will take you into your media player, where we have different sources such as AM, FM, DAB or Bluetooth audio. Don't forget if you do have a smartphone, whether that's Android or Apple, you can plug it in using the USB points down the bottom there and mirror your phone 
onto this screen. Okay, we've got some brilliant navigation in Ford, but if you'd like to use other navigation such as Waze, Google Maps, Apple Maps, can all be done if you listen to podcasts but my favorite bit is it makes it a voice command system so where you do have a voice command on the sync module the one on your phone such as google assistant or siri is a lot better because it's interactive with your mobile so for example click that hey siri take me to tesco's it will plan your navigation for you automatically hey siri call home hey siri make a text message and it's nice and convenient to keep your hands off of the wheel whilst driving let's go through some buttons now so left hand side is your volume rocker right hand side is your tuner i'm sorry about the sun uh, so we have a little sound setting there so you can adjust all your sound accordingly to your requirements we have a, a pause previous and next and this button here actually turns the screen to standby click it once more it will go off untouch and it's straight back on again it's perfect if you don't like the glare of the screen at night time down here is where you'll find all of your heating, ventilation and air conditioning controls. So if we're looking into them, we have a fan speed here, a temperature control to the right hand side with a digital readout as well. So you can adjust your temperature however you see fit. This one here is an electronically heated screen. So you, in the winter when it's nice and frosty like it was this morning, click that button and your front screen is going to be defrost in a matter of minutes. We have a rear and a front mist, max and different flows of vents here, recirculation, air conditioning, max aircon, and an automatic function there as well. Two buttons down here, we have one for automated stop start and one for charge control. Okay, get in there ladies and gentlemen, we're getting there. Six speed manual gearbox, nice and conventional, nice long shifter, gives you a nice positive feeling as you're changing through the gears. It's a great gearbox, I've got the exact same on my vehicle and it's a joy to drive with. Again, two USB ports down there as well to keep you nice and charged up as you're going along. Before we go, I'm going to give you a quick view of the passenger seat, which is bathed in sunshine currently. So there's the passenger seat, and what I like as well, we have a sunglasses holder. That's something I wish I did have, because I keep on sitting on them anyway. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like always, if you did have any questions, please do give us a call, 01376 550 899. Thank you, and we'll speak with you soon.